Hi, I'm Professor Lina Vachani. I am with Systems and Control Engineering, IIT Bombay. I am with the Systems and Control Engineering for more than 13 years now. And I am working with working mostly in the robotics and control area. My most of the research work is based on simplifying the control and applying it in terms of the embedded control way. We have seen that the control concepts are giving us the theoretical foundation on uh, what is the stability possible, what are the guarantees possible and so and so forth. But when we simplify its control design, it's, it's inevitable that what we, what we have designed into or whatever we have got the guarantees into the theory is also implemented correctly. So this part of the practical aspect of the control design is being covered in this course, Intelligent Feedback and Control, where the emphasis on the PID control. PID control has been most popular at 90% of the industrial control is still PID. And this, this particular course content gives you the idea why this PID control is so popular and what are the advantages we get from by, by designing a PID control. And it gives the variety of solutions for by just designing the PID control. Various forms of the PID control which are a part of the feedback part as well as the feed, feed forward design is being, being covered in the course. In all this, we try to look into how do we simplify the problem to achieve the control objectives and the solution is PID. Even with, when we have a very complex system, very high order systems, how do we reduce the model and apply the PID? When it's a large scale problem, MIMO systems, how do we apply PID? At the same time, this particular tuning of the PID is also important in order to achieve certain control objectives. And this is where you will see that once you tune it properly, it is a practical solution. And it is also implementable in any embedded platform. Lastly, when we see the PID tuning, what happens is there are theoretical methods available. At the same time, because of aging, because of the different environmental conditions, these, these systems undergo changes. And we might require to consider the PID tuning once again, maybe over the year, once in a year, once in a month, depending upon the changes happening into the system. Now, the latest techniques are on to auto-tuning. Now, these auto-tuning methods are possible with the help of considering the model, identifying the model first, and then applying the tuning based on the theoretical uh, ways and so on. Even though we go in a theoretical way, there is a requirement of fine tuning these PID, PID gains. So now newer techniques are dependent on ML methods, which are machine learning methods. In order to create or use this machine learning methods to tune PID control or design any control is, is the last part of the, this course. And um, in entirety, you will get to know what is working in practice is the simplified PID control. And learning on how to tune this PID control is the, the, the essence of this particular uh, course content. And in the end, you will appreciate that uh, in practice, the PID control is very popular and you will be able to understand why the industrial control is still the PID control. Mostly, those people who have already known these concepts of PID at least have taken one course on the classical control and able to understand the the terms like transfer function, PID, stability, Nyquist, root locus, Bode plot, and sub such terms, they will be able to take this course very, very easily and will benefit by applying these theoretical tools into this, some certain example problems and will be able to appreciate 
that these these understanding of the theory is now applied and how how is this applied in practice i hope you will enjoy this course thank you